here I have Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and let me show you how to go through the initializing setup process on the following device. So of course let's start from the welcome panel. Here you have the full list of available languages that you can use on this device. So in my case let me choose English for instance from United States. Then let's tap start if you are ready. You can insert SIM card, but you can also active your phone without a SIM card, so let me do it that way. Let's choose skip. And here you have the full list of available Wi-Fi that you can use on this device. It's not necessary, you can active your device without any Wi-Fi by choosing next right here. But it's always good to have an internet connection, so let me connect to my Wi-Fi, let's choose connect. Tap next if the device is connected. Here you have some important information about diagnostics and data. Let's tap understand to all agree terms and conditions and choose no thanks or yes to the diagnostics features. Let me choose no thanks and tap next. The phone is checking connection and looking for any updates. Here you have some important information about tap and go, let's tap skip. And now you can add a Google account to your device, it's also not necessary, you can bypass this step by choosing skip in that corner, but adding a Google account enables some interesting features, so let me do it. You can create a new Google account by using that link, or you can just use your old Google account by using your email or phone. So let me input my email. Tap next. Now it's time when you should input your password, so let me do it, let's wait a few seconds. Excellent, let's choose next. So, let me input my password one more time. Choose next one more time. And if everything is correct, you should see the following screen. So let's tap accept to terms of services and privacy policy. The phone is checking info one more time. And now the device is asking you to set up payment information. You don't have to do it, you can choose Remind Me Later right here, so let me do it. Tap Next. Here we have date and time settings, if everything is right, let's choose next. And you can restore apps, data and some settings from your old Google account, so from your old devices. Here you have the full list of available devices that you can use. So you can use your device or you can choose set up your phone as a new, so let me do it that way. Let's have a fresh start tap done and choose next. Here you have some settings of Google services. You can enable or disable backup your phone's apps, update settings and Wi-Fi password. You can also change settings of Google location. You can help improve location services and help improve your Android experience. So in my case, let me leave all of these features enabled and tap next. This is the information about Samsung account. You can sign in into your account. You can create a new Google account even with uh, using a Google account. Or you can just skip this screen by tapping this button right here. So let me do it, choose skip. Let's tap skip one more time. 
this is the information about Dropbox, so you can sign in or choose skip. Uh, this is the device name, you can leave it as it was in the default settings, so let me do it and tap finish. Tap OK to the following window and as you can see the home screen just pops up, so it simply means that the setup initializing process is completed, now you can use your device. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.